Hello. Are you sick and tired of heads of state fumbling a global pandemic? Well, I'm here to offer you an alternative. My name is Steve Kranz, and I'm going to pretend that I am president. And as a pretender to the office, I'm going to do the things that I think a president should do. All here in my apartment, quarantined in Oakland, California. So to make it official, I'd like to read the following declaration. In Oakland, California, April 1st, 2020. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one person to assume the powers of high office and supply leadership where it is dangerously lacking, a decent respect to the opinions of humankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to that action. I, as an American citizen, with a dream of equality and freedom for all, Believe that our leaders be held to the highest standards, and that the leaders, by the nature of their offices, are obligated to give their lives, fortunes, and honor to serve the good people of the United States of America. And when those leaders fail to practice the American values that they themselves proclaim to promote, it is the right of the people to, re to remove their trust from one leader and to place it in another, as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Prudence indeed will dictate that offices of high stature should not be altered for light and transient causes. And accordingly, all experience hath shown that humankind are more disposed to suffer, while evils are sufferable, than to right themselves by evicting those who led them astray. But when a long train of unapologetic offenses, pursuing invariably selfish promotion, evinces a design to reduce them under absolute stupidity, it is their right, it is their duty, to throw off such leaders and to provide new guards for their future security. Such has been the patient sufferance of these states, and such is now the necessity which constrains them to exchange their former leaders of government. The history of the current President of the United States of America is a history of repeated injuries and usurpations all having in direct object the disestablishment of a peaceful and prosperous union. To prove this, let facts be submitted to a candid world. He has dispensed lies to the American public on all sorts of matters, from trivial to gravely serious. His lies have been so, overwhelm have been so overwhelmingly numerous and dense that they cast the shadow of doubt on even the most innocent of statements. He has caused innocent children to be jailed separate from their parents in a, and in appallingly poor conditions. He has incited domestic agitation through his language and rhetoric designed to alienate minority populations. He has displayed a total lack of ownership of the most critical problems addressed to his office. His disregard for protocol, culture, and history has made a mockery of his office and has rapidly damaged international alliances and friendships that have been carefully forged over the course of many years. He has failed to keep a cabinet populated with qualified counsel. He has thrown tantrums when asked reasonable questions by the press. He has, on many occasions, ignored or removed sources of expert advice on matters of public policy and replaced them with his improvised disinformation. His vision of the world is so narrow and self-centered that he has no capacity to recognize the general needs and concerns of the nation. He has refused to acknowledge the real crisis of global climate change and has actively worked against the consensus of the scientific community. He has feuded with states and territories of the Union while they were struggling to contain the effects of severe natural disasters. He is, at this time, failing to comprehend the scope, and, the scope of and take decisive action against a global health crisis that threatens the lives of the people he has sworn to protect. In every stage of these oppressions, American people 
have petitioned for redress in both humble and vocal terms. Their repeated petitions have been answered only by repeated injury. A president whose character is thus marked by every act which may define a toddler is unfit to be the ruler of a free people. Nor have we been wanting in attention to our legislative officials. We have warned them from time to time of attempts of the president to promote dishonorable leadership over us. They have failed to fix the problem through established protocol. I, therefore, Stephen James Kranz, in quarantine, alone, appealing to a candid world for the necessities of this action, do, by the authority of my word, afforded by the First Amendment of the United States Constitution, and if the good people of the United States of America do agree and oblige, solemnly publish and declare that I am the 45th and a half President of the United States of America. And as President, I have full power to deliver speeches, hold press briefings, advise the public, and do all other acts and things that a leader may of right do. And for the support of this declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, I pledge my life, my fortune, and my sacred 